What is up, YouTube? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow Plane's More Farming Simulator. We are back on Alma, Missouri. Let's get to it. All right. I'm gonna say hi to Trent. Trent's in here. Hang on two seconds. Forgot to give him talk power. Hello? Honey? Trent? Up. No? Maybe? Hello? Oh, oh, I don't know. But... Does it actually work? Are you in here? Yep. I'm, I'm frozen. Oh, I'm sure it's broken. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, last night, I got thinking, I'm like, you know, there's a couple of decent contracts. Let me, like, take a few contracts here. So, I did, I did some plowing contracts on 25 and 17. Uh-huh. And then I got looking at this, at this hay contract here on 40. And I'm like, you know, it's $42,000 plus extra bales. We have all of the equipment. So, Ted and we are. Jeff, what's going on? How are you today? So, uh, the tether's going to run. While the tether's running for a little while here, we're going to let it get a head start. I've already got everything else lined up over here. You see, I got, I got the, I got the rake. I got a baler. The only thing I don't have is a bale trailer, but uh, that can be brought over uh, in due time. But in the meantime, I just, well, you know, there's this. Oh, that's parsnips. Never mind. I was like, we should harvest field 30. Yeah, speaking of Field 30's contract, by the way, um, that's worth $100,000, but Field 22 is worth $161,000. Yeah, but at least it gave you the right equipment. Yeah, that's true. Field 22, though, there's no chance you're going to catch me harvesting that in root crop, at least with uh, the in-game harvesters. There's no there's no shot so what i was thinking we'd do while that's running is we're gonna go plant either some wheat or some rye maybe like a field of each over at the the home the home country of russia okay that's what we're gonna do while that runs and honestly we can use stay two planters and get it done you know coming in hot today huh Trent? i see that Probably have to hook them, yeah, center for now and then maneuver them later. So if y'all don't know, you can you can daisy chain these theaters, which is very interesting. And how about that? Both of these are actually full. Man, that's incredible. So I'm gonna put mine on the left because to move the left. Uh, arm in and out is going to be easier than the right arm because of course play which i know i can turn off course play to open with mouse but it's fine it'll buff adam what's going on man hope all is well uh okay so we need to plant uh let's do wheat in field nine and we'll do rye like in field four. How about that? Sounds lovely, right? Dude. You alright? You good? Yeah, I had a burp. Oh, okay. Alright, and then the way you do this, it's kind of weird but funny. You just set up GPS for one. And then you just count passes. That's all you do. And it's just bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. Ideally, you'd run like three or five, seven. But um, this works as well. You gotta lower that next guy there. No, uh, they're, they're lowered. It's like one was on soybeans. Oh. Okay, well, both of mine are showing. Oh, goodbye. Well, no, you. I guess I am having. Yeah, I'm having the same problem. Why? Do I have to unhook that and hook to that separately? 
Oops, oops, oops. Am I still in? No, oh, you no. left. Uh, I'm still in. Are you though? On my screen, yes. Oh, okay. I, I, I get, oh, I got out and I can run around. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, no, you're not in here. <laughs> you done left. Alright, we're gonna hook to this one separate. We're gonna go ahead and let's see that one is set to beat though. I don't know, mine was like set the soybeans and I the whole thing was said it was set to we Yeah. And I lowered it, then it's one sweet, one soybeans. Oh my front one is still on soy. Okay. Alright, now we should be good to go. And now you're gonna be stuck at zero, right? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna put the launch over there. Yeah, launch thing? They have the, uh, Helco Imps hat. Honestly. All right. All right, all right. Well, I don't know if this tractor's gonna like these two. Uh, this tractor's great, but boy. Uh, you'd be correct on that zero. Already? We literally can't have anything nice, can we? Golly, man. I don't know what I'm just gonna go get my ramen out of the microwave. Yeah, I'll restart it. Chat, we can't. Can't have anything nice. Can't ever. Why it works, and then it just and then it just stops. I'll, I'll never know. I'll never know. That or we're just gonna turn off every mod someday, and like go play base game Elm Creek, and then literally add one mod at a time until we figure out which mod it is. It's brutal, absolutely brutal. But at least it's fast. It doesn't take that long to. Uh, Restart just a little annoying, inconvenient, you know. But that's all right, it's not that big of a deal. No sense in complaining about it, right? Come on, come on, show back up on the list. Give me Alma, Missouri for 200. Let's go. All right, we're back. And just like that, we're, well, we're attempting to connect. It takes a minute. But basically, we're back. Just like that. Okay, no big deal. No harm, no foul. It's just really weird. I don't know if it has to do with, like, when people lag out. It's like, I don't know. Maybe when somebody lags out, they need to, like, restart their game and wait five minutes. I don't know. Spin around in their chair three times. Something like, yeah, I think that's the new policy. Spin around your chair three times before you attempt to join again. That seems legit to me. I don't know about anybody else, but I think we can fix all of our issues with that. At least I hope so. Gosh. That's okay. Come on, come on. All right. We are... Wait for it. Wait for it. We're back. Okay. Just like that. No big deal. Login as admin. Turn that back on. And then this guy needs to be restarted. Because we got to make all that into hay over there on field 40, which might take a while, but that's okay. Okay, I was like, what's going on here? It's just taking its sweet old time. All right, drive. All right, we're doing it. Not setting any land speed records, but we're doing it. There we go. Is this gonna 
be just in between on gears in this tractor? No way. Go get a different tractor. Martin! Can you see what's going on? Wes, what's up? Welcome in. Now, I might leave a little skipper in the corners, but we can clean that up later. Nobody yell at me about skippers. Fine, they're fine. Everything's fine. Or we turn like this. Turn like this. Not a whole lot, just doing some farming. Let's go. Let's go. All right, two miles an hour. Sure is fun. Oh my. I'd go get the Alice. It's, I might go get the Alice. I have the Alice sitting over at that field for uh, contract with the baler because it's like the best baling tractor we got right now. Trent had the other John Deere, so he'll, I'm sure he'll be back when he gets his ramen. Um, actually, Sarge is here too. Sarge? Howdy. What's up? Oh, not much. You're here on a weekday. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I looked at my radar. I'm like, there's no rain over that, that direction. Oh, there isn't. That was my first thought. Like, oh, must be raining. Oh, but it is weather related. Okay. Gotcha. Been getting uh, enough cold weather in the. Uh... Kind of shut some guys down. Yeah, pretty much. I gotcha. Yeah, they. We had a. We had a cold snap uh, over the weekend. Last week, this past weekend, kind of, we got we got some snow like Friday, and uh, they poured a bunch of concrete on Thursday out here on a on a local like an area project here, like a bunch of concrete, like it was it's it's pavement for like a road, right? Right. They poured all kinds of concrete Thursday, put blankets on it, and good to go. Like okay, I guess it works. I don't know. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean the ground temp should have been warm because it's been it's been nice here. But yeah, they poured all kinds of concrete. I bet they poured like two lanes for probably I don't know a couple hundred feet or something. I don't know. It was a fair bit. All right, this is not going to work. I need a different track. This tractor is uh, probably its days are numbered. Days are numbered. It's a nice tractor. It just doesn't have any power. So we'll have to go get the Alice from the. Uh, I don't know what's it called from the contract. So I don't really need that over there right now. And actually, this will probably run the bale over there because that's pretty well flat. That field. Of, yeah. So we'll just we'll just swap this out. I'm, yeah. It'll be fine. SGTC98 just resubscribed for 60 months. More power. I, yeah. Sorry, thanks for the 60 month resub. I need to train, change this tractor out for the bigger brother that has like 300 horsepower. This thing has 100, I think. Uh, 127. But it, it you wouldn't know it. Oh goodness! Yeah, we had uh, we were supposed to get like a dusting of uh, of snow, Sarge, on Friday. Maybe up, maybe up to two, but a dusting to two inches, right? And we got like four and a half inches, maybe five in spots. Some places got more. It was uh, it was pretty awesome. And it all happened in like three hours. So it snowed real hard for not that much time. And it came down. It was, uh, it was wild. But it happens. Yep. And I guess I'd say Purdy's probably gone. 
most of it yeah so it's actually going to be up in the 60s today here and so i'll probably have to turn my air conditioning on later because you know with the pcs it gets hot in here right but the air conditioner's on the north side of the house so there's like snow on the ground still around the air conditioner it's just like what and they're talking mid 60s here tomorrow so yeah Small cold step with a dozen on Friday. I got you, Casey. I got you. Uh, it got down to like 15 here, 18, uh, like Saturday morning as well. I mean, it got cold. It was, uh, it was weird. Yeah. Experience all four seasons in one day. I kind of. It was funny though. Friday it snowed snowed real hard for a couple hours and then about 30 minutes after it stopped snowing there was blue skies and sunshine <laughs> it's like god this is this is missouri <laughs> it was awesome yeah the roads were an absolute mess and uh you know typical we get snow here and roads are you know they go to hell And then, uh, which actually the road should not have been as bad as they were. Cause like it was only when it was snowing, it was like 30 degrees. So salt's working, you know, salt should have been yeah. working great. And like they plowed our street and it was like almost dry half an hour later. So plows were working this, I don't know. I guess it was snowing so hard people couldn't see. I know I looked outside and I'm up like five houses from the end of my street. I couldn't see the end of my street. You know, now, now go 70 miles an hour down the highway and do that. Yeah. Good luck. Plus you got cars kicking up. Yeah. No, it was a problem. Actually that Friday night, the, uh, listening to the scanner there were like ambulances that needed tow trucks and there's an ambulance with a flat tire and the tow company told dispatch like yeah you're on our list we'll get to you when we can oh god yeah Kimmy everybody says it I know everybody says that saying yep there's definitely uh, definitely a thing everybody says I didn't realize that until like, you know, streaming and stuff, but yeah, everybody, everybody says that that's a cancel that. We don't need that course on this tractor. All right. Let's go do some planting with this. With this. I see the uh, Discord, the snowman, air farm boy. Very nice. Yeah, I did not. I did not make a snowman during our snowstorm. It probably would have been really good, like snow snowman making snow though, because like I said, it was kind of warm. So it, I assume it would have been a good like packing snow. I don't know. It wasn't like powder, you know. But yeah. Which we typically don't get a lot of powder here. Use buckets. Wow. Yeah, we don't get a lot of powder around these parts. Usually get the wet, heavy snow. Right. Grab it. Use buckets, not a bad idea, though, huh? You could have, like, shaped it to make it look like, you know round go out there with like a garden trowel or something uh that's funny where were we i guess oh across town last time we had a little bit of snow we only had like an inch but across town they made this huge snowman it's like i don't even know how they got enough snow to make the snowman and we actually had thunder snow too in this in the area i didn't i didn't get any thunder snow but uh 
Dover and St. Louis, they did. I'm back. Welcome back, Trent. I decided the Massey doesn't have any power to pull two seaters. No. Well, maybe on flat ground would be fine, but on those hills, it kept locking it down and going two miles an hour. Ah. So no thanks. And then you couldn't shift up because it would shift back down the whole thing. Let's try to connect in now. Got speed. So Sarge, we're going to do something completely different on this map that we've not done yet. Hey, what's that? We're going to be running swathers for like wheat, barley, canola, and uh, a rye. We're going to swath it and then use a pickup head to run it through a combine. Okay. Hey. Be very different. Mod's been out for a while. We've just never done it. So. Fun. I did the math last night. We're only going to be out of pocket like less than $300,000 to swap over to a bigger combine with a pickup head, a swather, and the, the head to, to swath the crops. So, not that bad. It could be worse. A nine in wheat? Yeah. Oh, and it was my front seater that wouldn't change over Trent, so I don't know if you need to unhook and check that. But I think mine's in... Well, I, I thought too, I but it was still hook. yelling at me that I can plant soybeans. So. It's, it's not yelling at me, and I disconnected the second one, so it's not my front. Okay. And it's not yelling at me, so... Oh, okay. Then you're good. I don't know. I, my front one wouldn't change over, which I thought was weird. I thought it was weird. I gotta re-disconnect my second. The Sarge has a uh, captain of industry. Oh, it's fine. Oh yeah, how's that new update on there? Not it... bad. I mean, it still pretty much plays. Same. Plays the same, but. I got gotcha. you. So far, there are. It seems to be a lot smoother. Oh, well, that's. That's. Oh, hey, Trent. Oh, hey, John. You can do uh... <laughs> I'll say which one of us is gonna turn in the field first. Oh, goodness. I'm going to keep going on this. There's a little skipper where we, uh, where we started. All right, where we both yeah. split ways. Yep, yep, yep. This looks yeah, ridiculous, that, by the way. The, uh, with me not disconnecting, or connecting, it kind of timed out perfectly because we had a, uh, a power company come out. Oh, yeah? They come out every every so often. They come look at trees. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. And I was uh, proud of me because I saw a white pickup truck when I was gonna go get my food. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's like a Chevy fifteen hundred. Mm-hmm. I love when they come through the neighborhood and they just got these trees man they cut so much it, and it's gotten better now because the trees are kind of shaped up you know but when they've well they they didn't do that for a lot of years i feel like company around here just didn't spend the money on on tree maintenance and then we got hit with like the ice storm in 06 and well then and I, tree trip. yeah they started getting serious about trimming trees after that that first year oh my goodness it took them forever to get through the neighborhood Although it's terrifying. If I go into like the back part of my yard or back into Casey's yard and I look down the, the power lines, the amount of tree branches that cross the power lines, but you know, they're way up high, but that cross the lines, it's insane. It's, it's surprisingly the, the one that the company that we have, they, they do pretty well with yeah. trimming. It's terrifying though. Absolutely terrifying. Okay, this isn't going to end well, but, you know, yellow, right? Those wheels are going to not be happy with each other. <laughs> you talked about it just bounced off. That wasn't as bad as I thought. It wasn't as bad as you and left. I said the other day, it left that. Oh. Yeah, hello, welcome in, what's popping? And the guy that was driving, it, you could have almost thought it could have been a crap off. 
Oh, for, for Farmer Nick, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, a little bit fuller beard. <laughs> okay. But it could have been Farmer Nick if you looked at him right. You should have walked out and went, Grandpa! I know him. Uh, welcome in. Help all as well. What's popping? I'm gonna go down here and hold. Not run close together. Cause it, or wait, are you going down here too? Where are you going? Uh, I'm getting your skippers. Skippers? I did leave a skipper. I said I would clean it up later. I did, did indeed leave a skipper. Forgive me. I have left a skipper. Yeah, we might need a plow. Oh, oh, there's like two spots that need cloud. Yeah, I noticed those the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Casper's gold, man. We're just doing a little uh, wheat seeding currently. We have a uh, a hay contract also running. We are currently tedding on uh, auto drive. Or sorry, now of course play. We're course playing a uh, tether going. Uh, we'll be setting a rake out there soon. You get that tether probably down the field a pretty good ways. The problem is the uh, the the lines don't line up for the tether and the rakes. <coughs> but it's all good. Oh yeah, we got that going on. But it's good. Otherwise, we're planting a little wheat. We're gonna plant some rye. Well. You bought a PC. What a different game this is from console. Yes. GG's on the PC. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a different world. Have you tried GPS yet? That's the real question. <laughs> uh, change your left. Turn your turn to your left, correct? Uh -huh. Good. Because I'm on your right. <laughs> and I'll... Uh, Finish this little bit over here. We probably should get a. Uh, although honestly, with two, that's not bad. It's say an two more seeders. Well, no, I was gonna say an auger wagon with seed, but with two, you can still get to the fill point. With three, it gets a little awkward. Welcome, to, welcome to the dark side. We have the cookies. What kind of cookies, Fire Shadow? What, I'm missing out on this. Now, now. Interesting. Speaking of cookies, y'all, I don't know how I feel about. You know, I, I told y'all that uh, like dad and, and and family members they went to like a fish fry. Well, they didn't. Well, they they did like drive through at a fish fry and brought it home. But part of their fish fry meal was M and M like cookies. Okay, give you a little dessert, two little cookies, right? They were homemade, just wrapped up in like saran wrap. And I don't know how I feel about that. Because they were offered to me, and I was like, hmm. Yeah, that's how you always see them at like fish fries. I've never been to one, so maybe that's why. Oh. And we have Booster Raw. Oh, you're trying to figure out how to use a keyboard and mouse. You'll get the keyboard and mouse. Just remember, you can use a controller on PC. You can use, like, an Xbox controller or, or PlayStation, I believe. Uh, definitely Xbox controller on, on a PC if you want. But yeah, I just don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Because, like, I don't know whose kitchen those were made in. I don't know if they, like, wash their hands, you know? If they wore gloves. I don't know. Needless to say, I didn't need them because they kind of grossed me out. Oh, yeah. What kind of cookies were they? M&M. &M. Ooh. I know. It, they looked good, but I was like, mm. Yeah. How do you use the freeze time mod? Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Uh, you use the freeze time mod just like you'd normally speed up and slow down time. You just go past zero. Uh, so, seven and eight across the top of your keyboard. Just hit seven a couple... You know, an extra time or two. And it'll uh, freeze your time. Use. Oh, gotcha, fire. Gotcha. 
probably the best cookie. I didn't have it, so. <laughs> Did not have it. I had true, Jeff. I don't know. I just felt like it's probably made in somebody's, like, house. You know, that was the part that weirded me out, I guess. Maybe they make it at, like, the, at the church in their, like, commercial kitchen. I don't know. I don't know. It just weirded me out. And I was like, no, I'm good. Oh, hey, Trent, we got a booster on the move, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. We got that and a launch. Yeah, I don't know. It just weirded me out. So I didn't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I get mine at the uh, annual fish fry. Yeah. It made me want to do something for my dad's cousin because every time we do, like, we'll take him asparagus or anything, whatever, right? They'll, uh, they always have chocolate chip cookies made in their freezer, and so they'll give us, like, a, a bag full of chocolate chip cookies. It's like, yeah, buddy. I'm here for it. They're good, too. They're not mom's. Yeah, but they're like, made in somebody else's kitchen, though, John. Yeah, but I know who made them. I think that's the difference. I know who made them. Does that make sense? Is this like an irrational fear of mine that we're finding out about? <laughs> Cookies made in people's kitchens that I don't know. You get anything when you go out, out and eat? That's different, though. That's They're held to, like, health department standards, you know? What about that one uh, fast food joint that got closed down? Just because I ate at an Arby's one time and they literally, or not Arby's, rallies. Dad and I pulled in there and they go, yeah, you're our last customers for the night. We're uh, closing down because of the health department. That was so good food, wasn't it? It was great food. <laughs> Usually has to be cooked on site. See, now that makes you feel a little better, Jeff. Yeah. Sarge, are you looking for a looking for a job, or did it did it sink you in? I will be. Okay, we'll probably uh, get you on fertilizer for uh, field number nine, the one we're uh, planting right now, which we're gonna have to. Hey, what happened there, Trent? I uh, somehow left a skipper, even though it was on GPS, like this far up. I thought you ran out of seed, and I was like, oh, uh, I'm about, about to. I got like one point. Nine. I got you. I don't know which one is yeah. in, or empty, but... I think they work together, don't they? I think so, because... They're hooked together. One was pretty much full, and one was pretty much half empty. Okay, and then actually, Sarge, um, there's a brand new uh, fertilizer spreader at the shop. But we just haven't had to use yet so we haven't had to have it brought it down to the homeland yeah and uh, how's that yeah not gonna start that uh, rate quite yet oh. what you gotta see How do I, what? Po point one wow I left and you left the skipper. I definitely, it was my last turn, I guess, wasn't a good turn. Kind of did a little bit of whoopsie. Yeah, well, it happens. Right. According to uh, Inspector, I have a point fourteen of a bushel. going to happen again, chat. Dang it. Gotta turn. I, I, the problem is you need more enros with this. It just takes a while to. It's stuck in that right or that left one a little. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, I'm not leaving a skipper like between them. I'm leaving a skipper on the outside. If that makes sense. Like when I turn, I'm not allowing enough of a turn for it to straighten back out before it's a whole thing. The whole thing. It's amazing how fast they can move those boosters. By the way. I know it doesn't, it's not, it's not actually that fast, but like, looking at the video, it's like, that thing is flying. Okay, not flying. Moving very quickly. 
it's only a couple of miles an hour, I assume, because there's a dude walking with it, right? But I don't know. It just seems fast for that big of an object, you know? That is all. But what do I know? Yeah, more enros, I think. More enros, more better. And of course, there's going to be one pass left. Amazing how that works out, isn't it? Oh man, breaking the bank with the seed cost there, Trent. 560 whole dollars. My goodness. Yeah, if you don't want to go that way, I'll just... Um, let's see, and then we're going to plant, uh, what did we say? Rye? Like in four, maybe? I don't want to save a field for corn. But I don't know what would be a good corn, uh, corn field. Maybe a couple, I don't know. But we'll see. It's so good. Alright, I got this field done. Go ahead and move that over. We're not using that one currently. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just a John Deere little uh, cedar uh, wheelchair. A little, little John Deere 8350. It's in the mod hub. It's in the in-game mod hub. Just a little, little old school uh, wheat drill, basically. Of that darn license plate, but yeah, that's uh old school little wheat drill, and then this one has the slide outs on each side, uh, so you can you can daisy chain if you want, but yeah, it's just an old school wheat drill. Gamer Freak 413 just resubscribed for six months. Dang, it's been six months already. Crazy how time flies when you're watching a fun channel. Keep up the good work. That was that was a lot. Thank you for that. Do appreciate. It. Thanks for the uh, what six month resub. Oh, Gary, crazy, Gary. Gamer freak, I appreciate you, man. How you doing today? Welcome in. Gary's a bird, right? Uh, yes, he's a crackle. A crackle. Gary the crackle. All right. You've never seen this before. It's in the mod hub. Oh, you, you having issues here, Trent? Filling up? Yep. All right. You know, buy just a little bit of seed? Uh-huh. Okay, so don't fill that thing up, okay? Because that's way too much. Well, your front one's full. Yep. Your back one's not even open. Oh, it is. How's that? The back one's closed on my screen, home dog. Hold on. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, no, it's it's totally close. Um how about now. It is Do I need to pick up fertilizer for this. Uh there are some pallets here at the homestead and then we have a uh, buy point back here behind the uh the bin sarge. We're kinda cheaty like that, you know. There you go. All right, you can just leave that wagon there, trying all grab what I can out of it. Buy it. Is that thing flipping over? Like that? What the heck was that? That red thing that just no, oh, the auger wagon was flipping. It was like about to flip over. Oh, because the. Uh... Look at it! Look at it! Look at yeah, it! Look at yeah, the jack stands in the ground. Oh my goodness, it's freaking out, man! Wow. That's funny. Okay. Uh, I'm doing great, by the way. Sorry. 
We're just wait. These were totally just open, right? Wait, uh, magic auger. Aren't you gonna work? Magic auger is not gonna work yet. Sad times when the magic auger doesn't work. I mean, it's farm sim. It should work. Oh. Riley's this guy. Okay. All right. That got a little awkward. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate you. evidence she's getting changed over oh I, said, I just keep hearing you hook up. all right auger wagon don't don't try to flip over now okay stay stay steady add speed to you oh right for yeah why not Um, no, I want you to. Why is that one on a wheat? I, you, you gotta separate them. Uh, oh, I did. That's why I was disconnected. <laughs> and it still had an issue, huh? Maybe not the most convenient thing to get all changed over. Once you get it hooked up, going, I mean, it's, it's not bad. You also upgrade cedars. Or drills. Upgrade? What are, what's that? <laughs> what's wrong with these? These are great. We gotta buy a, buy something to uh, plant corn with. At some point. That may not be in the budget for this in-game year. I mean, it is. Oh. There we go. Wrong button. All right, you get. Do you got yours all good? You good? Which way are you going around the field? Wait, how did it? It totally just changed. Yep. Oh, Sean, you caught that. Yep. One totally changed on me. I don't know why. All right, so here's what we do. We just come in here and go, okay, what did we just plant? We're planting, we're planting different crop. <laughs> or are you just this way and you don't run us here? It was totally fine a minute ago. Yeah. What the heck? But I'm saying upgrade. <laughs> so. It's so on rye. Hold on, we're going to go for a cycle through, though. Rye. I see rye, Turbeck. Oh, oh, oh. You get your changes over? That says what I'm doing. rye. What'd you do? Oh, you're just playing like that? Wow. When one rolls out, then I'll switch to the other one. It'll probably switch seed though, right? I don't care. Okay, rye. Rye, rye, rye. Rye and everything's down. Uh you're planting uh you're planting wheat, dog. Uh no I'm not. Here, wait, what are you planting? Planting rye. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're planting wheat. You're planting wheat. You're planting wheat. One of them is planting wheat. Yeah, yeah Trent is planting wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Here, give me that cedar. I'll take three. <laughs> what is this? Wasn't hard to switch to wheat. I switched first mine to right, just like you did. No, I fixed it, Sean. On the Trent, you're still planting the wrong crop. 
I am planting rye. Cycle through it again, dog, because that is the wrong crop. Look at inspector. I don't care what inspector says. Look at the map. You're planting the wrong crop. <laughs> oh, guys. What, are you going to switch cedars? <laughs> Wait, you're going to take my rig because I got it fixed for you? Okay. Chat. Chat, it's Grand Theft Duck. Cedar right now. Duck. It's not the cedars. The cedars are fine. I'll help. Are you stuck inside? <laughs> I'll help. I'll help. There you go. Now you're free. Thank you. Oh, he just uh, he just done stolen chat. I think maybe these like you just gotta cycle through. That's all. I did. And my bo bottom right said right. I understand mine did too, and I was planting wheat too. Oh, so everything that's been planted needs to be replanted. Okay. Oh, this is unfertilized. Oh, you filled up fertilizer. Oh, you did, didn't you? And so says right. Well, I hope so. <laughs> well, that's what it said before. I <laughs> all yours. Uh, oh, oh my! What a me oh, and this won't re. Wait, I can't triple stamp a double stamp. Oh, my front one wasn't lowered. Oh my gosh. Watch, he'll still plant. Wait. Oh, we're both planting rye. We just have a mess to clean up over here. There might be some grass planted in there or something, too. Oil seed, radish, and grass. Somehow we just planted both of those. <laughs> We literally can't have anything nice. I don't eat <laughs> Be efficient, you gotta have multiples. Uh, literally can't plant or can't have anything nice to it. <laughs> Oil, seed, radish, and rye. Or, sorry, grass. Oh. You could do that with this one, Sean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A row of everything, yeah, yeah. Reminds me of that time we got trolled on a uh, open server back in like 15. Somebody <laughs> logged in overnight and literally planted, like they went north to south, north to south across this field that had already been planted and they just they kept switching crops as they drove. It was a whole thing. I, thanks for the follow, appreciate you. Welcome in, how's it going? Is this a guess what we planted field? Maybe. I don't know. You're, yeah. You, mm -hmm. We might have to guess. Ah, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I think he just, I don't know. So come to them individually, cycle through, don't care what it actually says, but cycle through them again. It worked. It worked. I feel like in the past, though, you could just change them all together, like hook together, and it would work, but I guess not. Yeah, it'll all work eventually. Yeah. It'll all be fine eventually. Or something. Just kind of looked like a three ring circus there for a minute. Yeah, and that's all right. Uh, typical poop and plow. Arm and it'll buy, exactly. It will indeed.
right, just, you know, checking the map just to make sure. There's a lot of rye around us, too, isn't there? One in ten? That's all rye. Good lord. Oh, I, I was looking at the price on my single for field ten. Yeah. Field 18 is a better bargain. Is it really? Why would you say that? You get uh, it's deeper, and it seems like you get more acres. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. And the uh, there's there's a construction project not far far from me here, and they were kind of shut down for winter, but now that it's like nice, I can hear jackhammers running again up there and stuff. Kind of fun. Not really, but you know they're getting a lot of a lot of work done that they weren't supposed to get done until uh, still spring. So, might as well. But they're currently trying to jackhammer on something. Actually, I heard it last night, too, at like 2 o'clock in the morning. I could hear them up there working. I was like, oh. Guess they're, you know, it's warm enough. They're up there and just going crazy. Might as well. Right. Welcome in. What's poppin'? Happy Tuesday. Taco day. Not having tacos for dinner. Don't know what, what I'm having yet, but probably not tacos sad times okay we're gonna replant the sendra over here just entirely because i don't trust it just saying i don't trust it Uh, we're supposed to have 70 later this week. I think give me in 65 tomorrow. So it's going to be like 63 or something today. So, you know, it's right there. Like I was saying, there's snow on the ground around my air conditioner and I'm going to need to turn it on later. <laughs> like that is amusing to me. I don't know about anybody else. I find that funny. So yeah. It makes me laugh. All right. Okay, we're replanting this because this is where oil seed radish is planted. <laughs> oh gosh. Wild weather shifts. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Galley's yeah, underwater. I heard something about that. Yeah. I saw. I don't know. Whatever news that they had on in the house the other night or something when I was walking through. Yeah. All right. Did I get all? Okay, we got it all going this way now, Trent. Possibly. And then, you know, actually, it was funny on Sunday, we were at the farm, and like, you know, NASCAR is supposed to come, but of course, it was rain delayed. We ended up watching uh, Pawn Stars. It was funny. Record amounts of rain again. Yo, know, California can't catch a break here lately. It's either like hot and dry for 20 years or, you know, record rainfall again. Lord. Going down this pass, even though I, I know we already did this, but trying to clean it up, chat. Clean up our oil seed radish. Oh, gosh. Not every day we plant that, especially on purpose or accidentally. It really happened too often. All right, this will be the pass. This will be the one that cleans it all up. And this is using uh, seed and fertilizer like at the same rate, Trent. Over here, it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. What's up, Kimmy?
It's a little interesting. What's that? But you're saying that the seed and fruit are used at the same rate. Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of. I mean, ones that I guess okay, it's actually using seed a little faster. Uh, KB sometimes it'll reload chat. Yeah, I get it sometimes. Well, like while I'm streaming, it'll be like, "Welcome to chat." I'm like, "I never left." And or you'll have to hit that double arrow button to reload like the stream. I, just, I don't have to it's do next that. That's to the uh, clip button. I don't have to do that, but occasionally I do have to. Uh, it just re like reloads chat. Oh, my, mine says that uh, sometimes like video is unavailable, so I just have to hit oh. that button that's next to uh, like the clip. The reset player. I gotcha, yeah. yeah. I gotcha. Are you good over there? Or are you making weird patterns too? Uh, I'm cleaning up my skippers. <laughs> I left one, and that was my first turn, and then when I came back into my my pass, I left another skipper, so I had, like, yeah. nothing but skippers. All the skippers. That's why I was saying you need more endros with these. It's not so much the first one; it's the it's the second one, of course. Because yeah, even you can see with my previous one right there, there's a little bit of fertilized area. Yeah, yeah. Yep, but it's good. It's fine. And then if we weren't trying to plant our fields in different crops, we we'll craft it, you know, out in the other field. But obviously, we don't want to do that right now since we're doing different uh, different stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll run another another one down this way. Why not? Why not? Sarge is going through all the fertilizer right now, aren't you? That little spreader, I know, doesn't hold a lot. Plus, our our ground is all so just for soybeans. You know, we don't need to worry about that nitrogen, so there there was none. Now that we're planting other stuff, we have to put all the nitrogen on. Why is this, or why is ours at 50? Ours what? Oh, you gotta click like all the fields. Oh, the environmental number, yeah, yeah. And like, why is it at 50? It should be at 100. Uh, 96, look at those fields across the road haven't had a year yet. Oh um, yeah, it's uh, 78. It's, yeah. Yeah, they'll come around after we, uh, like, actually plant our crop and harvest for them. Yeah, that'll be fine. Eventually. But it's all good for now. But yeah, all the nitrogen's going down. All of it. And I did, I did lime everything north of the road, so our, well, no. Our initial three fields I limed last night, but those other ones had just been limed, so I was like, nah. Shouldn't have to do those, right? But I didn't. But you set it and forget it, a little course play auto drive, but there is an auto drive point to buy everything now, so like might as well. So yeah. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I had a ton of auto drive or course play running last night, scrolled my phone, not paying attention. It was great. It was a good time. And that new uh, Borgo cart looks kind of cool. New Borgo cart, huh? They, uh, Borgo made their, the, the 950. It's like the, I guess the smaller. Okay, yeah. Of the big cart. Nice. They made it gold or black. Cool. But it's like where the, the white stripe would be on the cart. Mm hmm. Around the, the Borgo, like 950 and the Borgo, that's it's gold stripe, and oh, wow. then around that 950 and the stripe is gray. But the 950 and the Borgo, of the number and the letter, it's, it's gold as well. Oh wow, interesting. Uh, Kimmy, I just like precision because it makes it more realistic. 
with modern day farming, you know, the, the map, like the mini map, that's a real thing, you know, your maps are filling in, you, you know, you look at it on your phone or on a computer or whatever. Um, variable seed rate. I, I really like that variable fertilizer, variable lime. I like all that stuff. Um, so that's why I use precision. It just makes it more realistic for modern farming. Plus we only have to fertilize once. Well, we can fertilize twice with like manure, but basically we're fertilizing once, at least for now. So that's why I use precision. I just, I, I think it makes it more realistic. So that's all. There's nothing wrong with playing without precision, you know? There's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. No. Yeah, everybody can play. Yeah, exactly. Give me. Oh, I'm the biggest fan of that. Everybody can play different. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we're good. Yep. Yep. I just think it's cool. That's all. You know, cause like just uh, soybeans alone. You don't put nitrogen on soybeans in your life. They make their own. They actually put nitrogen back in the ground. So now they don't really do that in farm sim because if they did, these fields would have a little bit of nitrogen and uh, well, they don't. So uh, that's something they could work on with precision. But other than that, I mean, precision's, I think it's good. I like it. There's a new, uh that Bloomington store I got the uh, 715. Oh yeah? One of the Berkey's, I guess the Berkey's little barn dealerships, they got the uh, 715 for uh, their spring open house. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Nitrogen is fertilizer. Without nitrogen, like, carn yields would be, like, almost nothing. Nitrogen makes your grass grow. Makes your grass nice and green, like, in your yard. Nitrogen is naturally released by, uh, like, thunderstorms, lightning. So if you ever, like, go out on a day after a thunderstorm, you're like, man, my grass looks really nice and green today. That's the nitrogen shot from the thunderstorm. But, you know, farmers can, can add more nitrogen to a field and, uh, you know, help help things along, help things grow. So, yeah, fertilizer. Nitrogen can be found in, you know, manure. It has a nitrogen property to it. So, for the organic guys, that's how they would get their nitrogen is, like, manure. So, yeah. Uh, Trent, I will bring you seed. I assume you're about to run out too, right? Uh, I'm already out. Okay. I'm already hooked to the auger. I'll just bring you a little bit. Plus, I need a little bit more fine. I don't know how much you got, but we'll use it eventually, so. Maybe we, uh... Maybe we dedicate that little auger wagon to, uh, I just got 322 bushels of seed. That might be a lot. Well, then put it in the small guy. Uh, I probably end up doing that eventually. Yeah. All right. We'll see this. Okay. All right. Okay. Whoa. Get to open them, dumb. Here, drive over here, where I can actually get to like, you know, yeah, hang a hard right. Here you go. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that little guy will have a long enough auger, but we'll probably make it work. This one works fairly well, though. Like, surprise. You just gotta listen for that throttle up. 
Rattle up. You're good to go. All right. Back to it, y'all. I know we don't need fertilizer. Um, typically, well, I still have some extra fertilizer. Typically, I don't run fertilizer. Um, while planting, because it usually runs out faster than the seed. Although, in this case, it uh, seems to be the opposite way. But... We just fertilize with the with a spreader usually. Spray or manure or whatever. Eventually we're gonna have manure. Eventually we're gonna be able to use pumps and hoses on here, but uh might be a little while before we have that going. Because uh, you know. Animals are expensive. To feed animals is very expensive to get into that world so yeah we could probably start that rake by the way do it yolo yolo that's first waypoint right up there that's fine go to your first buddy We're not going to start the bailer yet, obviously, but that's obviously the last step or second to last step of this job here. The last one, of course, is to, uh, you know, all the bales, all the bales. All right. Should be good to go. But if you drop the rake, it'll work. And back to the seeding we go. Making stripes. Let's go. You know, I Trent looking at Starbase right now. Yeah, that multi-story building going I, down the road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This like, whatever it is, two hundred feet tall or something, right? Uh huh. First off, that stand looks a lot different, doesn't it? That's the new one. That's awesome looking. But uh, if I were the dude um, like controlling it, I feel like put him in like a side by side as a passenger or like that pickup truck. Why does he need to be walking? Are you like, tethered? Is he actually tethered to the thing? The remote is. Okay. Golf cart side by side. You're telling me you couldn't drive that at the right speed to. I don't know, especially in the summer, like in this, the South Texas heat in the summer, like uh, that's gotta be brutal. Just saying, gotta be horrible. Cause they're moving at a good clip. Like they're walking, you know, they're, they're really getting after it. They're not just out for a, a casual jog here, you know, or casual walk. They're getting with it. Are right, you, you got that long pass? Yeah. I, was, I thought we were just going to meet up. No, I'm going to go I over here it. and work on this triangle. I got this little triangle over here, dude. Actually, is that done? Nope, there's a little skipper down there I left before. Okay. Go get that, too. Oh, the sand's blowing across the road today. That's fun. I'm looking forward to that season. Sand season, you know. Can't wait always a good one but uh, a lot of guys by us for some reason don't understand that you know if you work that dirt to death in the fall it's gonna blow away come spring every year it always happens and uh yeah it's gonna happen can't wait i actually had some blowing the other day at the farm but it was like going the opposite way it normally goes, so it was kind of weird. But yeah. Come on. You can do it, tractor. <sighs> Left a skipper. Can't have anything nice, huh? Leave it to me to ruin it, chat. 
Well, Sarge, at least some of this field is fertilized for you. Don't have to fertilize the whole thing. True. Yeah. Just most of it. Or I guess about half, probably. It's surprising as it is, I still have seed in these, or fertilizer in these uh, cedars from when Trent filled it up earlier. Very surprised that there's still some in here. That's okay. All right, that we're gonna be done over here. We have one skipper to clean up. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's go hit that skipper. And it'll even be for, well, it might be fertilized. We're getting a little low on fertilizer over here. Guys, like, galloping next to the... That's what I'm saying, man. They're, they're moving. That'd be horrible. Finish with point zero four fertilizer. All right. Okay, so if we got rye and wheat planted, um, we could plant a little barley actually right now too if we wanted to. Or we hold off on that. Yeah, we talked about planting a field in alfalfa or grass. What field are we going to plant in grass or alfalfa? Uh, could get two. Well, two. No, I don't want to purchase anything. Or we're going to pull the trigger on the swather and stuff. So three was the grass field when we started. I think we had talked about eight. Like that would be enough grass to like wrap and stuff, but like not overwhelming every time, right? What are you eating corn heads for? Somebody parked like a little. What? They parked them there. All right. Not a fan of the corn head there. Now it's in the way of auto -trail. He went hot smash. All right. To me, they both say grass chat. We'll see if that's actually the case. Or... All right. I'm going to head over there and get that uh, seated down, I guess, too. Probably start that... Uh... Well, if we start the baler, then we need to start a uh, pickup with it. That contract. Yeah. Okay. We've been talking about planting grass for a while. We just haven't done it. Well, is the season. Might as well plant it and we can mow it first thing in the spring. I don't know if I'm going to fit through here. Oh, gosh. Well, it, it'll, it'll. Nothing awkward about that. All right, now are we both planting grass? I don't know. I don't know. I see grass. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. The whole thing. All right. This field was stone picked. This it looks kind of weird. Like you can see the windrows where the stone picker went or something. Interesting. Very, very interesting. 
So the weird thing is, I guess the seed rate is like non non existent on grass. I'm not really using much. That's okay. It's all good. And the only problem might be getting um, the what's it called down there? The uh, if we get that swather. Not if, when, when we get to swather. Might be interesting getting a swather down there. But that's all right. All right. Oh, what you got moving? What's on the 78? Sale pickup. Oh, okay. Come here. The course should be loaded on the baler tractor. Uh, all you should have to do is hit start, but it should be good. And then the, the one little uh, farm is coming back to the farm. He's done with the tether. You don't need that anymore. But that'll be good. We'll get that bailing going. It should only take, you well, know, bailing that field might take a little while. Got a while to go on the raking process, but that's okay. We can always go do the parsnip harvest or the or the uh, beet harvest for a hundred and whatever thousand dollars. If we had bot botted harvesters, I would consider it, chat. If we had modded harvesters, I'd probably do it actually, because why not? I could even lease a modded harvester and still make money on that contract. Like, it's worth that much. Kind of insane, actually. That's okay. I'll fix the skipper in the corner. I did see it. All right. Because the way I looked at it last night with our three hundred or two hundred like eighty thousand dollars, I'm like, well, if we can pick up a forty thousand dollar contract, that'll obviously help. Plus the extra bales, like we're gonna make money off this contract, so might as well do it. Hence why it's uh, still running. Because why not? Actually, I was going to look at last night, and I don't think there is today either, but fertilizing contracts are always good. I haven't done any yet on this map, but probably should. Man. Uh, we are not combining any fields together as of right now, no. Not yet. If we do it, it'll be a little bit later. Um, so we don't have like giant equipment as you can tell and uh, There's just something about like running the smaller fields with the small equipment. I'm all about it right now as we size up and, and Get a little bit newer equipment then yeah, maybe we'll plow some fields together um, Honestly, there's a potential of a giant field right here you know, one to ten, basically, all these fields, three, three, nine, four, yeah. Potential of a pretty good size field there, but with all our smaller equipment, I you feel you feel better like knocking off the fields, I feel like, you know, one one at a time instead of trying to do like a giant, giant field. It it's the, the dopamine, you know, rush of oh well, yeah, we finished the field, heck yeah, you know. At least that's how I feel about it, so. Now, as of right now, we're going to not combine any fields, but you never know. And to be honest, you know, with this map having little cricks and waterways and random tree lines out in fields, like, it, it gives it character. And that's something that I'm all about with Farmstead maps. You know, I'm all about these maps that are based on real places and have a lot of character and 
Alma definitely has a lot of character. So I like it. I think it's cool. I will say up in like the grass field, like this tree line here is just kind of pointless. So like I could see someday getting rid of that tree line, you know, maybe this like giant ditch here, but like for the most part, try to keep the fields kind of like they are is what I, my goal is for this map anyway. Yeah. Well, that's true as well, Jeff. Yeah, financially, we don't really have money to be poured into landscaping, you know? Plus, y'all know my track record with uh, landscaping and multiplayer. It usually doesn't turn out so well. So. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, so. There's that. But something like this, this tree line here in this grass field, that wouldn't be that hard to take out. I don't think there'd be too much landscaping, but to like make all of that one field, probably not. To be honest, probably wouldn't do that. But yeah. You've spent 10 mil, Jeff, to fill in and have... Oh, my goodness. Not all done. Yeah. It gonna take us forever to get 10 mil on hard with the... Yeah. No thanks. No thanks. Sarge is ready to fertilize, Jeff. So this will be the last one we plant for now. The grass section all one field. Nice, Jeff. I mean, it, I could see it. I could definitely see it. You know, I know um, when Matt played, Matt, Phil, and Old Man, you know, they, they did a lot of customizing to the map, and there's nothing wrong with playing that way. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, and typically, I will do some or a lot of that on maps. But on this one, I think we're going to try to maybe not do so much of that. Because if nothing else, it's very expensive. And, uh, money is not something that's coming super fast to us. It's fine. But, uh, we have to be conscious about our, our funds. For sure. That was, almost, that was crazy, yeah. Thanks for the follow, appreciate you. Welcome in, how's it going? Um, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, we'll stay with the original layout. I mean, I can definitely see adding, like, another shed in our homestead. And, you know, we might have to do a little flattening for that. But I, I could see doing that. Uh, we did get rid of the starting grain bins because augers suck in farm sim. Everybody knows they, they walk and they move way too much and stuff. So I don't use augers. Uh, so we went with the AGI bin setup, which you can see it's over yonder right there which is a really good one it's from the AGI pack um, so that was like the biggest thing that we did or that I did before we actually started playing was just change out the grain bins so beyond that we'll probably stay uh, pretty original which is wild because some of these field shapes are insane like 22 it's, it's so weird but that's what gives it character. You know? And I like a map with character. Big map with character guy. Griffin, Indiana. Farms of Madison County. Those maps had character. Some of my favorite maps. Elm Creek has character. Really like Elm Creek. I don't think Elm Creek gets as much... Uh, Praise as it probably should. I think it's a fantastic map. You know, it's right up there with like Westbridge. You know, Westbridge was an awesome, awesome, awesome map back in the day. So it's it's right there for me, as far as I'm concerned. But of course everybody's entitled, you know, to their opinion, and that's totally fine. Totes fine. We'll get this grass done here real fast. Not a big deal. 
this will be enough grass to start our silage operation. We could uh, buy some sheep if we wanted to, to feed this grass to them, uh, which would be good. We have everything for our silage operation except for a wrapper. We have mowers, we have um, rake, we have a bale, we have balers. So we have everything except for wrapper. So not a big deal to pick a, a wrapper up. Cause honestly, you turn this into silage bales a couple, a couple times. You can definitely pay for a wrapper, if not the whole field. So it should be fine. At least that's the hope. And the nice part is the biogas plant is just right up the road over there. So that won't be a problem to probably haul bales up there and store them and let them ferment. So yeah. Uh, there's no clover on this map. There's alfalfa. Alfalfa, peas, and rye are the three crops that are different on this map. And then uh, there's a bunch of production stuff that's different too. So we have a corn dryer, so there's propane. Uh, there's uh, pizza, Rhea, you can, you can buy and make pizza. Make pineapple pizza, which is kind of cool. Uh, at the bakery, there's different stuff there. There's uh, uh, cornbread and sweet cornbread. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff if you actually go scroll through here. All kinds of juices. Uh, that's not the menu. I want this one. There's orchards, custom greenhouses that are orchards that give you all kinds of stuff. Uh, we can make pumpkin pie, apple pie, you know, all the apple juice, and pineapple juice, and orange juice, and lemonade, ketchup. Pumpkins, you know, lemons, oranges, pineapples, apples, pizza, uh, pepperoni pizza, or pineapple pizza, all kinds of stuff. It's cool. So, this map has a lot of custom uh, stuff, and apparently there's a big update getting ready to come out for this map at some point. Uh, allegedly shouldn't require a new save, so... That's nice, but yeah, I've heard there's an update coming for the map. Who which updates are always good for the most part. We'll see what they change if we update or not. Uh, to be honest, we'll, we'll see. If it doesn't require a save, then we might as well, might as well do it. Probably give us some different production stuff, but I don't know. You know, I could see, I really could see a four X Alma. I think that would be pretty cool. But don't go like crazy, just like the same kind of fields like that there are in real life. Make it a four. To me, a lot of fours, they start out with such big fields. It's like, holy cow, man. But, you know, you got to eat up the map somehow, right? Which that was the downfall of, uh, what's it called for me was, uh, Vespi. We were playing with a bunch of this, like, old equipment on those giant fields, and it's like, okay, this isn't working. It was fun, but, like... Oh, well, you also planted everything, too. Well, that's true, yeah, yeah. We didn't, uh, divide and conquer a lot of times, yeah. Yeah, kind of... own downfall. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Hello, wrong button. How far am I from Alma? Um... I think it's like three hours. I'd have to Google. I can Google and get you like to the minute. I'm not going to get you to the minute, but. I Googled Alma and that did not. They're Alma, Missouri. Directions. Directions. I think that's where I need to go. 45 minutes. Nice, Casey. Nice. Uh, from my location. 